Hi guys, Mike Reeve here. This is my 1 to 99 fishing guide for 2019. This is just a quick guide. If you want the useful items and stuff, I'll leave a link to the wiki page with all the useful items in it in the description. There will also be timestamps in the description if you want to skip to a specific level. That being said, we're going to get straight into this guide. So let's get into it. I am quickly going to speak about my setup though. You want to use a Call of the Seas Aura if you have one. They are very, very useful and they speed up fishing. I have the full shark outfit. The Fury Shark is the best outfit. If you have any of the shark pieces though, definitely wear those. It also takes the 5% XP boost from your fisher's outfit if you have that in the bank too. Obviously the only cape that benefits fishing is the 99 fishing cape, which you won't have. So you can just wear whatever you want in there. The Grace of the Elves is super useful when skilling because it has access to the rare drop table. Those Seren Spirits do give you extra GP over time. I have an augmented crystal fishing rod with Honed and Furnace on it. Honed and Furnace are the best experience perks for fishing, so I definitely would recommend those. A crystal fishing rod is a little bit better than a Rodomatic as well, because it increases your fishing speed by 5% when rod fishing. So this applies with like fly fishing, this applies to things like Prif. So it's very useful. Next up we have a shield. I have wise on this shield so then I get the extra experience every single day from that perk. Ring of Whispers from Siliske's Endgame increases your fishing speed as well so that's also very very nice. I have a Luck of the Dwarves in my inventory so whenever a stone spirit spawns I switch to the Luck of the Dwarves and click it. That way I can also roll on like the super rare table and stuff like that. I have some fishing urns in my inventory alongside an urn enhancer. Some super restores so I can continuously summon my granite lobsters. Lots of granite lobsters to summon. Lots of perfect juju potions to sip on. And even some pulse scores. If I was going to put pulse scores in any skill, I'd put it in slower skills. Fishing is one of the slowest, so I always put my pulse scores in here. I buy my pulse scores with my oddman, so it's a really good place to use them in my personal opinion. Obviously, you might not have all of these items. I'm just showing my setup so you can take the stuff you have and use them when fishing. So if you only have an augmented rod, for instance, make sure you've got Honed and Furnace on there. If you don't have any of the outfits and stuff, still make sure you're using urns because they're really useful. If you have the summoning level, use the familiar, you know? Use everything that you can use out of this setup and it will increase your experience an hour. That's it with the setup, let's get into the guide. From levels 1 to 20, you can do Crayfish. They are just northeast of the Taverly Lodestone. You want to fish these for the first 20 levels. Crayfish are 10 to 12k experience an hour, and this will take you around 25 minutes to get to level 20. From levels 20 to 30, you want to do trout via fly fishing. That means you go here in Lumbridge, and just over here at the Combat Academy, you can bank all of your fish as well. From levels 20 to 30, you'll be getting about 17 to 20k experience an hour here, and this will take around 30 minutes. Levels 30 to 68 stand at the same place located at Lumbridge. You want to go and do trout and salmon with your fly fishing now. Salmon is unlocked at level 30. From levels 30 to 50 you can expect 30 to 45k experience an hour. Obviously things like urns increase this. Levels 50 to 68 you can expect 45 to 70k experience an hour. Getting 30k experience an hour at level 30 is pretty damn good. From level 68 to 88 you can do minnows. If you go to the fishing guild, this notice board right next to it, there's Guma. You can right click him, travel with Guma, and he'll take you to the deep sea fishing hub, which is where these are located. You just want to run down south and then you get to the minnows. These minnows are very, very AFK. Super chill, super easy to do, and at level 68 to 75, you're expecting to get 60 to 100k experience an hour, depending on your boosts. At level 75 to 88, you'll get 80 to 125k experience an hour. The reason why I recommend these over Menophos is because of how AFK they are, and they don't require the shark outfit. Menophos, you need to keep dropping the stuff on the floor, or you need to bank them if you don't have the shark outfit. And it's very hard to have the shark outfit at this low level of fishing. The shark outfit does take a while to obtain. Because of this reason, I really like Minos. They're about 5% less experience an hour than Menophos, but because how AFK and how easy they are, I would definitely recommend these. 
if you want to go for the non-AFK method, you can do Crystallized Fly Fishing, which is located at Lumbridge, and the God Statue is right here, just behind you to the north, that you can use to replenish some of your prayer. I do recommend bringing a Super Prayer in all though, and that can keep your prayer up with Grace of the Elves near enough 100% with Light Form. You'll only have to go to this statue very rarely, if you don't have the Grace of the Elves. You won't even have to go to this statue if you have the Grace of the Elves. This requires the Light Within quest for the Seren Spells and Curses. What do I mean by Seren Spells and Curses? Well, you need to have Crystallize and Light Form. Crystallize requires 88 magic, and Light Form requires 80 prayer, so that is another requirement on top of this. This is the very try-hard lean-forward method. All you gotta do is use the Crystallize spell on the fishing spot, activate your Light Form, and then you go hard with just fishing at that spot. Crystallize gets rid of all of the resources gained from this spot and gives you extra experience instead. Light Form then increases this extra experience and gives you even more. So instead of getting your trout and salmon, you get nothing for crystallizing except for extra experience. Crystallize lasts 30 seconds and then you just recrystallize the plot and go again. At level 70 to 80, you can expect 90 to 130k experience an hour. At levels 80 to 88 or 89, whenever you're finishing your grind here, you can get 110 to 170k experience an hour. This is by far the fastest way to get from level 70 to 88 or 89 depending on how you are changing up your fishing journey. So if you wanted the maximum XP, do this. If you wanted sign AFK, do the minnows I just mentioned. From levels 88 to 99, you can go to the Prif Waterfall. The Prif Waterfall is located at the northeast of Priftinus. An easy way to get there is the Max Guild Garden Portals. If you tune your Max Guild Garden Portal to Priftinus Waterfall, you can teleport there via that or via the Grace of the Elves. As long as you have 199, you can tune that portal. It also requires 90 agility and 90 range to tune that Max Guild Portal, and that cannot be boosted. Although if you were trying to get up to the Waterfall via the agility shortcut, you can boost from 85 to 90 agility with a Summer Pie to get here. You want to use an Admiral Pie for the plus 5 fishing boost. This allows you to do the Prif Waterfall at level 88. At levels 93, you unlock the Small Urchins, but boosted with the plus 5 visible boost with the Admiral Pie allows you to do it at level 88. So the Small Urchins at levels 88 to 90 are 110 to 135,000 fishing experience an hour. Medium Urchins from levels 90 to 92 you can get 120 to 150k experience an hour. And large urchins from levels 92 to 99, you can get 140 to 190k experience an hour. Really just depends on what boost you are using. Make sure you're using all of the boosts you possibly can, like perks and urns. The reason why, obviously, I'm saying do large urchins at level 92 is because that plus 5 boost with Admiral Pie allows you to do them at 92 because it boosts you to 97, which is required for these. So whether you're doing small, medium, or large, use a Admiral Pie to get a plus 5 fishing boost so you can do this early. From levels 89 to 99, you can do Fishing Frenzy boosted with an Admiral Pie again. This is located at the Deep Sea Fishing. Again, that's in the Fishing Guild. You take that boat with the guy next to the notice board and you get here. You want to use an Admiral Pie for your plus 5 boost. This will take you from 89 to 94, which is a requirement for Fishing Frenzy. Once you hit 94, you can stop eating your pie as you don't need the boost anymore. Levels 89 to 94, you can expect around 220 to 350k experience an hour, depending on your boosts. From levels 94 to 99, you can get 275 to 400k plus experience an hour. With this setup that I showed at the start, I was getting 450,000 experience an hour here. That was without any poll scores, anything like that. It was just like avatar buff and stuff like that on top of it. Very, very awesome and by far the quickest way to train up your fish in an 89 plus if you don't mind not AFKing at all. As you can see on screen, I'm clicking every single one of these spots and they go within seconds. If you don't click another spot within a certain time frame, you lose your frenzy bonus. Every 10 fish that you fling, you get an extra 1% XP here. And if you stop flinging them, you stop getting that bonus. This bonus stacks up to 20%. So if you do 200 fish, you'll have a 20% bonus for the rest of your time here. 
So you really, really want to make sure you're not AFKing because you want that 20% extra bonus experience whenever you're flinging fish. This is the non-AFK method for sure. And that's it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you guys and a nice updated video is always handy. If you guys do want to see more updated 1 to 99 guides, let me know which ones in the comments down below. And until next time, see ya.